I guess my message would be just to try focus on like what you can control. And at the end of the day, that's all you can really do. Um, Not looking outside your bubble, essentially, when you start comparing yourself to others on the field, like you're not going to get anywhere. So especially at that age, it's just really, yeah, focusing what you can control. And then, you know, it is a team game. So then when you are in a, a group session, it's how are you, integrating with all the other girls or boys on your team like or just players in general um yeah yeah did you ever because I know comparison is like such a huge thing um Mm -hmm. especially like now with social media and like for me I didn't when I was playing in my youth days there wasn't social media so no me neither you know so you could only Mm -hmm. compare yourself to like who was directly in front of you but now yeah you can literally compare yourself to like millions of people did, yeah. Did you ever struggle like with comparison with your teammates or with your competitors at all, like growing up yeah. or even like now? I think, yeah, I think absolutely. I think it's part of the, the parcel sometimes, especially with team sports. It's, it's kind yeah. of an inevitable. And when I start recognizing kind of that kind of pattern, I, I, I'm very aware of it now. So I can kind of check myself and be like, that's not going to serve you whatsoever. Um, but I think, like when I was younger and like you've just alluded to, we didn't have access to, I didn't have a cell phone until I was God knows how I age. My, my sister and I <laughs> shared a brick. So we didn't yeah. have access to Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or all this, like some would say nonsense these days. And I feel grateful for that because oh, me too. Yeah. it scares me sometimes what's out there. So I guess that's why I also want to have this conversation with you today is because I think what you're trying to do is awesome. And so if I can play my part in in influencing someone through your platform, that's pretty awesome. But yeah, social media can be pretty scary these days. And I even find myself needing to take breaks from it um, because it can be quite unhealthy and in the footballing world quite, quite nasty as well. What I'm I'm glad you brought up the well I guess I kind of brought up the social media thing and you you (laughs) ran with it but I'm I'm glad that we're talking about it a little bit and I do talk about it a lot because it is like you said it can be it can be like really dangerous and really toxic so for you Mm -hmm. you said that you sometimes have to take you know a step away what is what what do your like social media breaks look like and like how Mm -hmm. do you recognize oh maybe I need to take a little bit of a break yeah I think. For me, sometimes I still don't notice the patterns early enough. I think when I'm in a good headspace, I do. But when things are a little bit tough, I think sometimes it's very easy to just lie on my bed after a day of training and just be like scrolling. And when I'm in a good headspace, I can really kind of identify, oh, I'm mindlessly scrolling here. Like what am I even, I'm not even paying attention most of the time to what I'm even looking at. Um, but obviously subconsciously you are. So for me, it's just, yeah, if I need to take a period of time off, I either put on like the, do I don't even know what the feature is called off the top of my head, but you can screen time. Uh, I turn on the screen time time function. Yeah. So I make sure that it's not the first thing I look at in the morning. So it's turned off from like 8 PM until midday. Um, unless I need to go on there for work or something or some business thing, but most of the time I'm, I'm trying to stay off till midday and that's usually till after I'm finished training anyway. So I find that's quite good for me. I'm not, you know, faced with a lot of the stuff that might be on there in the morning when my brain's still waking up. I find that quite beneficial. And then also at the end of the night, I don't need to be like scrolling on TikTok or Instagram at 9 p.m. before I'm sleeping because that's not beneficial either. Yeah. But uh, I guess also from like a, if I'm having a tough time yeah on or off the field like I just am like social media is not it for me right now and I guess that's where my inward focus comes in it's like that external kind of presence is not going to help me in any way so let's just shut that off and really you know go inward and see what I need to be doing and yeah kind of navigate it that way but I I'm getting better with the social media side of it I I also know that I can have kind of positive impact on social media through sharing um, my life and my experiences. Um, so I kind of, I try, I'm trying to find a happy medium. I don't always yeah. get it right. Um, I'm definitely back on social media now at present time and so far it's okay. But yeah, it's, it's for me, it's finding that, that kind of balance of 
being able to help others um, and show the positivity, but also the realness. And and I'm always very conscious of being quite open and honest. And then, yeah, if it's not working for me, then I just have to go off it essentially. 